in that, as far as the wrestling did, what I did was I intimidated a lot of people. I didn't give a fuck. Big gold and a bill flow. So swole that I can't get the shit closed. So I'm like, in the red corner at 280 pounds from Johnson City, Tennessee, Plowboy P. And in the blue corner, 220 pounds out of Hollywood, California, one of the convertible blondes, also one half of the U.S. Tag Team Champions, Hustler Rip Rogers. And our referee for this match is Dale Edwards. There's the bell. Our first match is underway. As uh, Hustler Rip Rogers takes off his robe, I'll start to say one of his million dollar robes. I don't, robes. I don't know if that is a uh, true million dollar robe that Randy Savage the Randy has. Randy Savage is the million dollar robe bearer, or wearer, should we say. But okay, here we go. It's about to begin, and it's Hustler Rip against Plowboy Pete. Plowboy Pete has a headlock, but it's been broken by Hustler Rip Rogers, and there goes a knee to the Stomach of Plowboy Pete, and now he's going to whip him down, or whip into the... No, he reversed it. Plowboy Pete reversed that and managed to uh, put Rip Rogers into the turnbuckle. And coming up to the desk and sitting down with us is none other than Leaping Larry. Okay, but Plowboy Pete did not heed the advice that Ronnie Garvin just gave Th uh, Thunderbolt Patterson a few minutes ago. You watch your back when you're in the ring with the convertible bonds. There's a big clothesline. It looks like that might be all, all there is. It looks like I came in just... That is that. it. In just under two minutes, Gary Roy defeated, uh, not Gary Roy, I saw him standing up there, Hustler Rip Rogers defeating Plowboy Pete. And I guess that explains why they're the U.S. Tag Team Champions, or at least one half, Gary, uh, uh, Rip Rogers is one half of the U.S. Tag Team Championship, and of course our my pet pistol, Pez Watley, is the other half. Okay, Lanny, we have a videotape of a corner. 218 pounds from Charlotte, North Carolina, one of the convertible blondes, gorgeous Gary Royal. Thunderbolt is all set and ready to go. The bell is rang, and Gary Royal disrobing right now. This should be exciting. With uh, Thunderbolt Patterson, this should be something. We saw Thunderbolt last week in some action, and I can hardly wait to see it again. Here he goes. Yeah. Well, Thunderbolt, at... I just... Yeah, yeah, he is something. Man. I think uh, everybody here is getting a big kick out of him. Those of that have never seen Thunderbolt Patterson wrestle are really in for a treat, and he's a welcome face to anybody that does Slipped remember. out of that. I remember first seeing Thunderbolt Patterson... It was Christmas of 1973. He was in the dressing room reading his Bible. And uh, there he's showing a lot of wrestling skill. And I took an immediate liking to the man. And uh, I've been a great, uh, I've been a fan of his ever since. And, uh, you know, one wrestler could be a fan of another wrestler. And uh, I'm just happy he's here. And he's just a great guy. And we're, everybody's lucky to have him, except Gary Royal. Look at that punch, ineffective on Thunderbolt. Yeah, boy. He did not know what he was doing. Uh, he should have looked at last week's program and saw what happened when, uh, who was that? Uh, the fly, was that Plyboy Pete? No, it was, it was Tony Peters. Tony That's Peters. Peters. lost to Thunderbolt Patterson. That's who I'm going to wrestle now. Look at that punch right to the face of Gary Royal. And, of course, I'm the man that broke Gary Royal's nose, and I believe Thunderbolt Patterson might be reinforcing. <laughs> You hear that? He says, it's a terrible shame we have to do it like this, but he's going to teach Gary Royal a lesson. Gorgeous Gary Royal may not be so gorgeous when Thunderbolt Patterson Thunderbolt finishes working on that face. Thunderbolt uses the audience to his advantage, too, as he uh, talks him into some of these actions. That's right, and uh, Gary Royal um, is uh, resorting to eye gouging now. Oh, right to the nose. And uh, I don't know. Uh, that's the nose I broke, I say, and uh, Thunderbolt Patterson's... I, t I let him know about that nose, and uh, he certainly has found that to his advantage in reciprocating for those eye gouges. Linda Bo Patterson is, right, is ready today. Here comes Hustler Rip Rogers, Pistol Pez Wally out of the dressing rooms. Oh, and Thunderbolt was ready for him. Of course, he's got the mop head. And the ref that is it. The match is over. Oh, Thunderbolt is the winner, and he is working on all three of the convertible blinds. He has Gary Royal already out of it. Rip Rogers is going to be out of it. And mop head Watley is going to be out of it in just a minute, too. And Ronnie, one man gang Garvin is approaching the ring, but he hasn't actually gone into the ring yet. Thunderbolt is holding his arm. Here comes Garvin now, Edgar. Lonnie, and Lonnie going after the ring him now. Because he's gone to assist Thunderbolt Patterson, but Thunderbolt did not need the help. That is exactly right. And the crowd just loved it. Thunderbolt handled all three of the convertible blinds quite handily. 
Mophead Whiteley, gorgeous Gary Royal, and Hustler Rip Rogers. Okay, we're going to take a break. Be back with the Samoans, father and son, Chief.